Rain, flooding, and substantial road closures. That's what Southeast Texas has been dealing with for days, and the threat is not over. Right now, critical parts of I 10 remain shut down. Here is the affected area people in the highlighted section seeing some degree of high water. Channel 2's Samantha Patashkin has been experiencing it firsthand and joins us live from one of the hardest hit areas, Orange County. Samantha? Well, Dominique, tonight the water continues to rise on streets like this one right behind me across the town of Orange. There is already so much damage, and now everyone is just racing for the Sabine River to crest. As drivers risk it across the inundated streets of Orange, displaced residents set up makeshift beds for the night. It looked like a fishing pond. Robert Nika Stevens is one of hundreds now sleeping at Red Cross shelters. This one inside a church has more than 150 beds, all occupied, many with people on the verge of losing their homes. Furniture, TV, all my baby stuff. Robert Nika decided to seek shelter with her baby girl before things get worse. Earlier Tuesday, military trucks scattered across hard hit neighborhoods. Picking up people who needed help. Ways deep in the house. Billy Franklin found himself at the center of a rescue after getting trapped in his now island like home. The devastation so widespread it shut down parts of I 10. Everyone just hoping for the best once the Sabine River crests. I just hope all the people are okay and get somewhere safe from the water because it's getting high. And according to the Orange County Office of Emergency Management, the Sabine River is now expected to crest at around midnight tomorrow. Reporting live from Orange, Samantha Batashkin, KPRC Channel 2 News.